What's up you guys? Welcome to Kirby's Adventure on the NES. This is the first game I ever played, the first one I ever beat, the first one I ever got 100% on. It's as good old days for me personally as it gets, so let's do it. I like the little intro movies. Here we are in Vegetable Valley. Pretty straightforward. This is bare bones Kirby, man. Got our beam ability, and that's all it does. Every ability just has the one thing. You can't summon helpers like in Kirby Superstar. So, it might not be the most fun Kirby, but dude, it's classic. And I think the music of this game, I mean, every Kirby game is massively happy. It's ridiculous. I don't know, something about this one and the punchy 8-bit stuff. Some of the songs in this never came back either, I don't think. They're not quite the same way if they did. And they're still to this day. I remember I was at my mom's house and when she lived... Uh, when she first moved away, basically, and had her first house on her own. Oh, wait, this... I'll try to do it at the bottom so you spring up, yeah! It's not as easy as it looks. Massively happy. That's <laughs> what the noise does, man. E everything in Kirby. Every little minor achievement calls for a dance. So let's play the crane game. Oh, man. All right, chunks, let's do it. It's good. Dead center, dude. I can't even begin to tell you, like, what it feels like staring at this now. It's like a glimpse back into... Oh, um, yeah, it's a little bit off, but maybe... Oh, hang in there, Kirby! Summon the armpit power! Yeah, we got him, dude! That's a chunky four-up. I like it. <laughs> He peeks out the door like, are you also massively happy? I don't know, dude. Like this song, dude! Listen to the music! I mean, this was late NES. They were already doing Super Nintendo stuff. So that's why it had the save feature and... Graphically, it's impressive and stuff. Poppy Bros. Jr. does not give you bombs. There are no bombs as an ability in this game. But instead... No, he's not dead yet. Hang on. We get the crash ability, the one-time use full-screen explosion thing. Awesome, dude. Kirby's a little wrecking ball. I like it. It's a little bit weird to come back to it, though, because, like, in Kirby Superstar, you can just double jump to puff up. In this one, you have to press up on the D-pad. Like, pressing jump again doesn't let you float. That's just a weird thing, because I think I got used to doing that, just the double jump. Lots of slowdown in this, though, too. Even on the Switch. I'm not playing it on the Switch, but... I was, because I thought about it, but yeah, I just don't like that Pro Controller D-pad. And I don't want to burn out the Joy-Con D-pads, either. Because those things are, like, time-sensitive. <laughs> yeah! Pull yourself up there, Kirby. I may or may not dance in my chair while he dances. You have to. So yeah, when these doors turn white, that means you 100% of the stage. Some of them later on, you gotta find, you know, every Kirby game has hidden switches and stuff. So there's some of that. I like the overworld. I know it's just doors on a screen, but I don't know. It gets a little more, we gotta find the museum. And the top hat game, dude, the little western shootout thing. I used to waste so much time playing that as a kid. Sword Kirby. Probably the best ability. Well, no. 
This game has UFO, Kirby. That's the best ability. Spark is good. A good way to slow down the game like crazy. Has this ever come back? I don't know, I haven't played too many Kirbys. Oh, the story about my mom's house when she first moved away. A song on the radio came. Or a, a song came on the radio. And I swear it sounded like one of the songs in this game. It was all instrumental and it sounded just like it. But there's no way to summon up that memory. It's not like I can look up what happened on this exact day in my mom's house. Ah, oh, yeah, see, that was only a two that time. Even though it looked good when I pressed it, I don't know. There it is, that's the museum. Colorful enemies are on display. Eat the one you want. So this one's just sword. I used to goof around in these rooms all the time, too. This is like you make up your own fun when you're a kid. This song, this might have been the one that was on the radio. I mean, there's gotta be some real song out there. Yes, oh, I've always liked Blue Ice Kirby ever since this game. This was my favorite just because he turned totally blue. Oh no, go back! Yes. Oh, notice my health, too. Once you 100% it, you unlock the challenge mode where you only have three little thingies for health. And there's no save, either. And I beat that as a kid, too. I don't know how, because I'm smacking into everything already. Nah, I was mid-thought before Blue Kirby got me excited. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, Meta Knight with his candy! Massively happy! My god, the slowdown. I love it, though. This is why I don't really mind when games slow down. People are like, oh, they're so stupid, they can't even do a solid 60 frames. Like, have you ever played the NES to even know? There's D to D, y'all. Look at his face. Uh, well, now would be the time to get the sword ability. Press select to ditch it. Yeah, if you swallow an enemy, a copy ability en enemy, and your star that you ditched, it gives you your star power back. Wispy Woods, I'm coming for you. It's always Wispy Woods. Poor tree. Right, where are we going now? Yes! This is one of the best songs in the game, dude. And the palm trees and the peanuts that rain down on you, where's my umbrella? Well, there it is. But swords get too. Those little medicine jars are like, uh, I think, uh, two health recovery? Where the, the tomato does everything. No! Yeah, one one nudge and you lose your ability in this. Oh, man. Well, bye-bye, sword. Bye-bye, happiness. Oh, hello, sword. Hello, happiness. <laughs> See? This game, no, you can't be sad playing Kirby. I like how the song is mostly just upbeat craziness, and then it has that part where it's like, do, 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 do. Oh, 
tornado. Yes, where's this ability? This hasn't come back in like anything. I used to love this one. It's good for bosses too. And the museum isn't the only thing in every world. Maybe? Yes! Reminds me of that Elijah Wood interview that you could unlock in either The Two Towers or Return of the King. The official movie games that came out on like GameCube and Xbox and PlayStation 2. Oh yes, the chicken game! Egg Hatcher! Try to eat the eggs, but not the bombs! Still a one-up. Hatch those eggs, Kirby. D to D looks like a... I don't know. His jacket always looked like rolls or something. That oh, doesn't make any sense. New song. Oh, that guy's Needle. I should show off Needle. Too late now. the big tire enemy. We don't need any of this. Tornado can do it. Oh, so I can hit my forehead, apparently. I think if you're good with the D-pad, you can sit the tornado right on top of them and just drain their health. Wheel is the same as it always has been. No wheelie, though, in this one. Just short and quick. I like it. Just playing this because it's the end of the year. And you just need some massively happiness. I'm gonna skip the crane game from now on, because that one's a little bit slow, unless I really need one-ups, but it's probably not ever gonna happen. Whoops, I wanted that umbrella. This game does get tough, though, by, like, World 6. I remember it took me ages to find all the things in that as a kid. Bearing in mind, I was literally, like, 3 and 4. Oh, wait a minute. That's doable. It's gotta be. Hmm. Oh well. It might be a secret, but it is still the beginning. Maybe it's just one ups over that way. Yeah, it is. Unless, no wait, there's another bomb thing. I remember this. I can't wait for that sheriff game, though. There we go. Massively happy. Why it took me so long to play this again? I guess I just always knew that it wasn't ever going to be as good as Kirby Superstar again to me. But I'm liking the nostalgia right now. Yes, all these dudes are awesome too! This was always so fun as a kid. No, you kind of knock that off. Yeah, wait. Bare Bones Kirby's good because he could just get rid of all of them real fast.
don't know why I always like swallow in the last one. Just I got that work work with the door. How many points you need to get a one up or whatever? Or if that even exists, you would think. But all right, we just unlocked the museum for this place. What do we got? Laser. Oh, yeah, this one's awesome too. It has crazy ricochet abilities and stuff. I still think we're too early on to the point where we need to have a specific power and save it for like five screens. I know that happens in Orange Ocean, which is the uh, World Six, I believe. What are these little flying orange dudes? Like Bonto or Berto or something? It's obviously not as many powers either as Superstar and stuff. And I believe Stone is always just what it looks like. Oh yeah, this dude. He's got the microphone ability. tempting, but I want to save the microphone, so we're going to skip that. Oh, I don't even need that. Okay, well. It was just fun. I mean, this game is... A lot of these old games that are just side-scrolling, getting points and one-ups, like, that's all there is to it, really. was the gateway for me into all video games. I know I talk about watching my dad play the first Metroid game, but there's no way I could play that. That was like a dad-only game. But this... On weekends and stuff, I would just sit and play this all the time. So this is an arena. You can get a tomato! And an ability if you win. Well, that sounds delightful. Yeah, so the museum, you can take a museum power into here if you want this power instead. Every world has one. Yes, Blue Kirby's back. There's another one, there's the ice power. They separate them, so this is freeze, which is really cool. That's the dash attack in Superstar. But then there's Ice Breath from the snowmen and stuff. Oh no! <laughs> Waddling with Chunky Kirby here. Sometimes that's the fastest movement. Because you can't puff up in that mode, so if you accidentally hit up, it won't let you do it anyway. Oh, this is a chance at a mix. Gotta get him to bounce at the same time. Whoops, I was too early. It's like the only way to get UFO in levels that don't have UFO. I don't think you could jump in wheel mode. You have to deactivate it first. You can only spin. Well, that wasn't worth it. 
I know there's definitely hidden switches, though. It's not just for one-ups and little canisters and things. Oh, that dude! Yeah, high jump is another ability. I know we need that for Krako. Where did he go? Ah, well. We'll find other ones. Umbrella Kirby is still awesome. Even though you can't hold down in midair and do the crazy spiral attack. Like in Superstar, but... Oh, here we go. I don't know, I always found this ability pretty fun. It only has minimal uses on screens that are vertical, but... The loud cars, man, they need to stop going by. Edit all the sound out. Was that six? That means we just have the boss, right? And that's the first two worlds. Oh no, it's five. But it is the boss. Okay, it's not even... Yeah, the later levels have six stages before the boss. That's a warp star to go back to previous worlds. But uh, I don't remember what this boss is, so let's take laser. Oh yeah, the roller skate dude. I know, uh, they copied this exact fight in at least one other game. I know, like, Kirby 64, when you get the painter girl, she does something similar to this. But there was another Kirby, too. Oh, wait. I think you could swallow that lightning cloud and get something. Or maybe that's just faulty childhood memory telling me that. Oh, the laser's doing just fine. What's three, Grape Garden or Butter Building? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think this will be a next time thing, but we gotta listen to the music. <laughs> okay, I'm done D-pad doing so. Okay, now I am. Alright, thanks for watching you guys, I hope it's enjoyable. I know it's a silly game and there's not much going on. Or do you or do you not want mass happiness?